Hello there. Today's video is about the security configuration and analysis snap-in. It's available on uh, server operating systems as well as client operating systems. You just have to uh, make the snap-in. You have to make the console. So I want you to click uh, Run and MMC. And uh, that'll pull up a blank Microsoft Management Console. So click File and Add or Remove Snap-in. And I'm going to put two on here. So I'm going to do the uh, security template snap-in because we'll have to make a template to uh, anal analyze it. And then uh, the sec security configuration and analysis snap-in. So add it to. Alright, so we need to make a uh, template first. So I'm going to right-click here and new template. I'm going to call this test template. And we need, I need to make some changes to it here. So under account policies, uh, password policy, I'm going to make password history and one. So that means it will remember my last password and not let me reuse it. And um, local policies, audit policies, I'm going to audit successful login to the computers. Okay. So I want to close this, and I want to save this console, and I'm going to put it on the desktop. We'll call it console one. That's fine. And I need to save my template that I just made, test template. So now I can reopen the console, and come down here to security configuration and analysis. I want to open a database, and uh, that's fine. We'll call it test database. And now it wants to select the uh, security template that we want to analyze. So let me go to my documents, security templates, and there's the test template. It's also where it's storing this database. So now I want to right click and I want to analyze the computer now. So what this is going to do is this is going to analyze this database, uh, analyze this security template that I just made, analyze my local computer and see where the differences lie. That's pretty much the whole purpose of this tool. So uh, if I go to password policy, it shows a little red X there. So that means uh, the database has a setting, which means that the template remembers the last password that I used, whereas the computer currently remembers the last 24 passwords that I used. So I gotta decide whether or not I wanna keep that setting or not. Uh, there's local policies, I did the audit policy. So the audit logon events, it does it here, but it doesn't do it on the computer settings. So let's say, for example, at this point, I need to decide whether or not I want to keep that password policy or keep the current password policy of 24. Uh, I can uh, right click here and uh, see what these mean and why they're important. But uh, if I decide that I want to uh, keep it, then I'll uh, I'll actually just turn it off and then OK. And now there's no difference and uh, the password policy. Actually, I'm going to redo that. I like that setting. I'm going to undo the uh, password. So I'll undo the uh, the password policy so that there's no more confliction but I want to keep the audit policy. So if I want to apply this to the computer, all I got to do is right now right click on the security configuration database and configure the computer now. I can save it. I can also uh, configure the computer now. This is going to save it to the database. It's not going to modify my template. It's going to modify the database that the security configuration and analysis template is using. So if I do uh, configure computer now, now my computer is uh, is set up so that uh, it audits all logon events. And I can go to local group policy if there were local group policy on this computer and uh, and view it. So that's the security configuration and analysis snap in. It's available on server and client operating systems and uh, recommend that you play with it. It'll 
teach you a lot about how to configure your machines. So, thank you for watching.